It's kind of chilly out right now thanks to the passage of a cold front and a surge of Arctic air this weekend into early this week. And that has led to a full-blown water spout outbreak over the past couple days, continuing through the next couple days over the Great Lakes. And to understand why, we need to learn what a water spout actually is. Water spouts are a spinning column of air. They are formed when an upward current of air tilts and stretches atmospheric spin, we call that vorticity, close to the ground upward. This is where our cold front and these fall-like temperatures become really important to water spout creation. August through September is typically when the Great Lakes reach their warmest water temperatures of the year. So, at the surface you have warm air heated by the water. When a cold air mass sweeps over the lake, this creates a temperature differential. Warm air at the surface and cool air just above it. Because warm air is far less dense than cold air, the warm air just above the water wants to rise. We call that buoyancy. That's actually how a hot air balloon works. When that warm air rises, it stretches out any spin at the lowest levels of the atmosphere and a rotating column of air is formed. Typically, water spouts form from the base of a cumulonimbus cloud because those are associated with these updrafts, these upward currents of warm air. Air is invisible, right? So why can I see a water spout? Well, fluid, in this case water vapor in the air, in motion causes an area of low pressure, which in turn condenses the water vapor in the air to water droplets, turning into a cloud. That's why you can see the funnel. And don't worry, fair weather water spouts are typically harmless. They very rarely have internal speed, wind speeds over 50 miles per hour, and they don't usually last very long, maybe two to 10 minutes. Uh, and they don't really ever come offshore. 